One of the committee members in disbelief as Kentucky House Democrats get up from the Health Services Committee today and walk out the door. The legislator leading the charge was Representative Lindsey Burke from Lexington. Did you and your colleagues walk out because you were against this bill and the personhood that's attached to it? Or did you walk out because you felt it was a personal attack on you? It's both. It's both a personal attack and an issue with fetal personhood. Representative Burke says while the bill would require health care facilities to offer palliative care for women who have stillbirths, the bill repeatedly calls those fetuses babies, paving the way for personhood or further strengthening anti-abortion laws. Plus, it requires counseling for alternatives to pregnancy termination. She also says that she believes the bill's sponsor, Representative Nancy Tate from Fort Knox, sponsored the bill to shame her for having an abortion herself of a twin who she says had abnormalities which could have jeopardized the life of the other baby in her womb. If I had allowed both babies to grow, it's possible I could have lost them both. I think this is a very compassionate piece of legislation that gives us the opportunity to support women and their families physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. After the Democrats walked out, the committee heard testimony from the bill's sponsor. Later, we spoke to the co-sponsor, Representative Kim Mosier from Taylor Mill. Representative Burke says she felt this was a personal attack on her because uh, she had an abortion of what she says would have been a stillbirth baby, plus uh, of the issue of personhood. Hmm. We haven't had any conversations around personhood or um, certainly I didn't realize that she had uh, that that issue. So uh, there's uh, this is just a piece of legislation. So regardless of the walkout, the bill passed unanimously with only Republicans present. Wouldn't your comments have been more useful with you there? That would mean that my colleagues who have presented this bill would listen to me and they have no interest in listening to me. Yeah, the bill still needs to pass on the House floor, then pass through the Senate and get the governor's signature. Democrats say that the merits of the bill are irrelevant because the services are already offered. Representative Moser says that this bill ensures that the services are more comprehensive. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.